So we got this far with the car, it's running pretty nice, but we're gonna pull the back apart and we're gonna uh, straighten out some stuff that's not quite straight and make it more reliable. So let's pull her into our hoist. fluids, bring it back down and drop the cradle out so we can work on the cradle. My set of NASCAR tires are more useful than for just racing in a circle. As you can tell. For those of you wondering, these are going to go on the smart car after the smart car can handle the, yeah. the traction. Oh okay. crap. <laughs> Well, we gotta clean all. Uh, now we gotta clean tires and the floor. <laughs> that failed miserably, and I'm talking to you. You guys wouldn't believe it. It fell all the way through, and it still caught probably a liter and a half coolant out of like three liters that's coming out. That's awesome. Don't make that up. Yeah. Oh, hey, what's that? Uh, Hi, Josh, is that oil coming out of your engine? No. Is that oil? No, it's just rust. Uh -huh. It's not rust. You know it's orange it? coolant. So all the plumbing is undone, all the controls are all done, the wiring is unhooked. So now I'm just going to bring it down, pull the four bolts out, put it back up in the air, let the subframe drop six feet, and we're good to go. So this will be fun. So, here's our first problem. The motor's tweaking a little bit under the many horse torques. Second problem is this mount's a little crooked. Third problem is these chains keep coming loose. No one likes loose chains. So, I have this fancy gizmo. This thing. Basically, it's a big heavy duty 530 sprocket on an arm and it goes like this. And it tensions with a big sprang right here. So it's like this. Anyways, we're going to make a bracket to put that on there so we can tension this big long one and if I have to, eventually, I can put another one here. So after about another hour of painstaking inspection, we found that this motor mount is crumpling and this one needs a gusset because it's allowing it to move just a little bit. The front one is bending a little bit up and down, causing this one to crumple and this one is perfectly fine. So, we need to fix that before we can straighten out the jack shaft or before we can put the tensioner on the chain. That's all, it's pretty easy. So we noticed that this back motor mount actually crumpled. Uh, it's like wrinkled. So we're gonna hack that off and use a piece of one by one now and gusset it and all that fun stuff. Cause this corner's taking the main hit of the torque every time you shift and every time you step on it and do sweet pulls because it's right by the sprocket here. Then we're gonna take this front mount, we're gonna cut it off. Same with the one on the other side. We're gonna build new mounts that come directly across here and up. So that way this motor cannot move at all. And it's all gonna be gusseted and braces as well. So that it doesn't move, because we found that we underbuilt this and the steel is starting to bend. So we also found out that our welds are decent enough with a Harbor Freight welder, which is pretty respectful of that welder. So, we're gonna start with, uh, we're gonna miter cut this piece and drill a hole for that bolt. Then we will figure out our length and the angle to cut it at. Hack that one out, put this one in, get the motor all level again since it's twisted a little bit because that mount gave out. And then 
I mean, yank the motor out and weld her up solid. So far, it seems to be working how we want it to. new mountain uh, we're redoing this one mainly because it crinkled but also because it wasn't quite square after crinkled we're actually using a concrete level now off the top of the carbs and off the frame to make sure that she's completely level so we're ready to tack weld it so let's get at her So as you can see, these motor mounts are a lot stronger. We put a one by one across, and then we did a one and a quarter inch square tube up to the mounts and miter cut them so we can get the bolts through. And these should not bend and twist like the other ones did. So now we're just gonna weld this up, and then next we'll move to the jack shaft. <laughs> We want to make this jack shaft sit nice and perfectly straight, not crooked and sideways. So now what we got to do is rebuild the one mount to make it perfect again. yanking the motor out again for the manyth time. We weren't happy with how this all was, so motor's out. Now we're gonna weld up the new mounts and it will be much stronger. Cracking a cold one with the boys. It's a, a cool iced tea. So we weld this mount up nice for the jack shaft, nice and straight for this one. Uh, we got three new motor mounts that are solid and they can't move at all. All nice one by one and one and a quarter by one and a quarter. And uh, make sure you stay tuned because we're going to uh, put this all back in the car, take her for a good rip and maybe drive her real hard and fast and race track it. We'll go back to the racetrack. So stay tuned. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Mm -hmm.